Hello everybody, hi, we're here with <laughs> Elemental Alchemy. Hi. What is your name? Lindsay Jarrett. Lindsay is here to help um, educate our audience about Elemental Alchemy with Proud Fertility. I'm Nathan Chan, the Managing Director here at the first time in the Saskatoon Family Expo. <laughs> so today's talk today is about this fancy amazing jewelry. Make sure you come look at this over here. So Lindsay, what is alchemy? Can you tell us? Uh, alchemy is taking different materials to create something different. Okay, and so we have this little sign on your thing. What's that about? This is my logo. I got it made. It has different symbols that are all related to. Uh, Time to get one for Proud Fertility. <laughs> yes, Surgery and egg donation on my arms as well too. So these are some lovely pieces. First of all, DNA keepsake. Is that even safe? Is that like? It's 100% safe. I take the DNA material and I encase it in a resin and turn it to stone. DNA material is like it's a very um, broad term. Does that mean like hair or? I can work with hair, cremation ash, breast milk, placenta, pretty much anything. Absolutely anything. So how would this be relevant or something? Um, that a, a good option for intended parents and, and uh, or for surrogate moms or the regular moms. Tell us. Keepsake jewelry is a great way to honor any journey. You can take the breast milk or placenta and turn it into beads and pendants. And are any of these um, placenta? Which one is the, the placenta one? The two dark ones here are placenta. This one is cremation ash. Okay. And the rest are breast milk with various additives to create. Also, breast milk life. jewelry isn't like a little like globe or anything like that. No. It's not like it's shaking around. So this no. is definitely safe. Yes, it's preserved so that it doesn't go bad. And then I add it to a resin and put it in molds. To Has this been like new? Is this like it's pretty it's, it's hip a fairly, trend, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a like her hair. New her thing. hair is pretty hip. <laughs> it's a fairly new trend. Yes, it's definitely making a. A, a, a comeback. Comeback for sure. Or it's just, it's just coming. It's coming. It's come back, yeah. right? Okay, so talk me through what else. Do you know what? What else? You said cremation ash. How is that? Um, it can be relevant even in any pregnancy. And we have a lot of intended parents who come to us who have had years of infertility or maybe they've experienced losses. And that could be something really uh, sentimental that could honor your surrogacy journey too. Yes, um, that's true. Yeah. Um, with the cremation ash, for anyone who suffers a loss of a child, I do offer right, free jewelry. So this is here. an example. And I do any piece for free for anyone who suffers that loss. Okay. Well, um, how about, um, how, like, how do they find you, besides the fact that you are in Saskatoon, the little alchemist, right? I mean, currently I'm the only one in Saskatchewan, so I am working on my website, but you can find me on Facebook, Elemental Alchemy Inc., or you can find me on Instagram, Elemental Alchemy underscore Y. And we'll definitely have tags on this, we will definitely talk more. So, it's all over, um... Canada can come to you, right? Like, I mean, if I, um, or, or a surrogate mom uh, who wants to make some jewelry out of placenta, do they just like put it in an envelope or something they to you? Or how do they do that? put it in a bubble mailer in a oh. plastic bag and they ship it to me. I can take frozen, fresh, and expired milk. So it does not need to be, um, you know, what fresh. does that process actually look like? Is it safe? I mean, we said it was safe, but like, okay. I have a proprietary process that I use to um, preserve the breast milk. Proprietary? And, yes. <laughs> so I don't share it. <laughs> and then. But share this video. Yes, yes. Because, share it on the video. Yeah. <laughs> so it's proprietary. Yes. And it's. Preserves the breast milk, and then when it's mixed with. It's turned into a powder form from there and then mix with the resin to get it to this end result. Do you make these pieces for both women and men? Or? Anyone. Okay. Anyone can get it, yeah. Okay, so perfect. I think this would be a great gift yes. for surrogate moms, um, you know, especially when they're getting this gift of life. Um, because just, you know, obviously they've set up, give this gift to a set of intended parents. What about if, could it be a gift for intended parents from a surrogate as well too? Absolutely. Absolutely. How I think it would so? make a wonderful gift for, uh, for the surrogates. Because How is this actually keeps it going? I just really want to know. This is 
you add, these are called Euro beads, which are very similar to your Pandora style beads. Okay. So they go on your Pandora bracelets and it just unscrews and you uh, just slide it off. Is that for men or women? Anyone who wants one. I might be able to go on my, like, my tiny finger because my wrist is huge. So that, would that be a piece for a man or? Anyone could wear it, really. It doesn't matter. I, I do do other pieces too, like cufflinks and money clips and variety. Money clips! Yeah, so anything is possible, really. Anything is possible. You know, you spoke about money, uh, money, of course. <laughs> anything. We like money too. So, um, you spoke a lot about anything is possible. Um, besides these pieces, I was chatting with you a lot, and you do yeah. all sorts of other kinds of DNA keeps. Like, what are some other cool stuff? Like, could you do pet stuff? Like I do things? work with pet cremation. I have done the sheddings of a, a snake that passed away and created jewelry out of that. Um, okay. That's cool. Flowers, fabric, anything. So, if, please share, share, share this video. Um, support your uh, Canadian. I guess this is a form of art, absolutely, and it's so um, amazing that you do this. Thank you so much for joining us on Facebook Live, Proud Fertility Egg Donation Surrogacy Journey. I'm Nathan Chan, the Managing Director of this Surrogacy and Egg Donation Consultancy, and we have this amazing <laughs> Elemental Alchemist. What's your name again? Lindsay Jarrett. Okay, please share and take care. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us.